Previously on Ace Attorney Investigations! Gumshoe here! I didn't say much last episode, but I'm still paying attention! Mr. Edgeworth was able to prove that Agent Hicks fell to his death! Because of this, Cammy Meal's testimony was called into question. Mr. Edgeworth was able to expose her lies as she revealed her true colors. Then we found out that the perp wrapped Hicks' body in a cloth found in a box that says cloth in Borginian. However, you guessed it, she objected. The killer probably searched through all the boxes looking for something to use. Can Mr. Edgeworth prove that's not the case? Find out in the Case 2 finale of Ace Attorney Investigations, next! Take that! Hey, look, it says bed sheets in English right on the box, sir. Precisely. And bed sheets would be perfect for cleaning up blood, wouldn't you say? Hold it! So what are you trying to say? That if I were the criminal, this box of bed sheets would have been what I would have spotted first. However, the killer chose to use some Bolzhinian claws. Do you have an explanation for that? The killer didn't want anyone to know that the real scene of the crime was this cargo hold. So they were afraid to leave signs that the box for the sheets had been opened. However, the Borginian cloth, well, that's a horse of a different color. Because the killer knew that it was going to be unloaded in the Republic of Genfa? That's right. That is why the Borginian cloth was used. And the only Borginian reader on board who could make such a calculated decision is you, Camille. You and you alone! It would be very easy for us to confirm if any of the boxes were resealed. All we would have to do is contact the Zhengfa authorities in time. We may even find other evidence to incriminate our killer within those boxes. <sighs> so, what do you say, Miss Meal? Why not confess to your crime here and now? Or would you rather wait and see what we find out from our investigation in Zhengfa? QED, Meal! Finished making all the arrangements to take the suspect in, sir. Very good, Detective. What about the smuggling route? Did she say anything about that? They're taking her down to the precinct now. Hopefully we can get more out of her there. Whenever we even approached the topic, she just started foaming at the mouth, like a rabbit squirrel or something. It was scary, sir. She probably wasn't prepared to commit a murder all of a sudden. One thing is for sure, the ring behind this whole mess means serious business. It looks like there's a lot more to this case than meets the eye. Mr. Edgeworth! I just wanted to say how much I appreciate everything you did. Thank you very much. It was nothing. In fact, I should be the one thanking you for your cooperation. But truly, if it wasn't for you, I... I might not be here right now. Instead, I can continue to serve our passengers as a flight attendant. Um, I hope that... Well, please accept this as a token of my appreciation. The... that's... I see. You don't have to take it if you don't want it. No. I mean, I would never turn down a lady's generous offer. Oh, thank you. I'm sure it will serve you well. And remember, we here at iFly Airlines are always ready to serve, Mr. Edgeworth. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Now I must bid you farewell. May all your skies be blue, no matter where you go.
I can't believe we wound up investigating the whole day, sir, but boy, was it fun. Speak for yourself. My day was filled with earthquakes, elevators, and false charges. By the way, where's Francisca? Oh, yeah, she's filling out some customs paperwork for a departure. Departure? Yeah, Miss Von Karma's always really busy, sir. She's been flying from country to country to chase down some leads regarding her case. Hmm. Detective, can you cancel the car I had you reserve earlier? You got it, sir! Francisca. I sort of told you when we first landed. I have no time for idle chatter. I have no intention of wasting your time. However, it has been a while since we last met. I also have no time for such familiar reminiscences. Just who do you think I am? You are Francisca Von Karma, a very proud prosecutor deserving of much respect. <laughs> Until only a little while ago, I was but a wretched mutt who was always losing to you. A dancing pirouette, living her life on the name and fame her invincible father built. True. Your father, Manfred von Karma, didn't lose a single case for 40 years as a prosecutor. However, I wouldn't say he was invincible. What are you talking about? <sighs> the group I'm on the trail of is a little more troublesome than most. The smuggling route we found this time is only one sliver of the big picture. Sounds like a dangerous assignment. You really don't have to worry. I can take care of myself. Yes, I suppose you can. Plus, there is another agent on this case of me. Oh, another agent? He's a star among Interpol agents and has the highest successful arrest rate. Who knows, you may even run into him someday. Hmm? I was simply caught up in this one case. I hardly see why we would cross paths. <laughs> I suppose. But I doubt he would say the same. I'm not following you. You'll understand soon enough. The fight has only just begun, Miles Edgeworth. I'll be back in this country soon enough. And when I am, you can be sure I'll pay you back in full. Auf Wiedersehen. Don't miss me too much, Scruffy. And just like that, she's gone, huh, sir? Oh, thank God and a half. I could finally rest easy knowing I won't have to watch out for her whip. Detective Gumshoe, I want to thank you for all your help and cooperation. Ah, uh, it was nothing, sir. I was just happy to be able to work with you again. <laughs> I think I'm going to celebrate by adding a little extra salt to my instant noodles tonight. <sighs> just how much did you cut his salary by, Francisca? Detective, I was wondering if you might give me a ride down to the prosecutor's office. Sure thing, sir. I'll even fly down the road in the patrol car if you want. Man, does that thing go fast. Don't make me remind you, Detective. Safety first. Vroom! <laughs> Thus, I solved the first case upon my arrival home. Francisca von Karma, the smuggling route she was after. The leaders of that ring had already put their trump card into play. And the players on the other side of this war, they would begin to make themselves known through the next incident. Hmm? Edward speaking. Oh, finally. I called who knows how many times earlier, but I couldn't get through. And you are? Oh, have you forgotten my voice, Miles, my boy? M Mr. Amano? Ernest Amano, correct? Ah, so you do remember me. I know it's rather sudden, but I can't ask this of anyone else. There's been an incident, Miles. My son, he's been kidnapped. <laughs> it's time. Don't worry, Mr. Edgeworth. I'll be watching over you with these kick-ass binoculars I just found. Good to hear. <laughs> sir! I'm undercover as the Blue Bantam now, sir! I must pretend to not know anything about anything, sir! inside that stuffy head anymore. Y-y-you're! I am the great thief Yatagarasu! 
great thief. Oh, Lance! I can't believe you've been spirited away. I wonder how you're doing right now. Help me. Why don't you go back to your precious courtroom now, pretty boy? Pretty boy? Strong words for someone showing off that much chest. The courtroom is a place where the truth is revealed. That is precisely where the final contradiction lies. Objection! Objection! Hold it! Hold it! Eureka! Take that! Take that! Let's start project.